All right, we'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed. And sphincters tighten. <laughs> Classy. On the edge of my seat. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Craft Beer Republic. Thanks for drinking. Thanks for joining. I am Greg. Got a different uh, salty crew with us today. First, joining us, the drop and roll mom, <laughs> Erica. What's going on? <laughs> hey, everyone. I am like super excited. My kids went back to school two days ago, so I'm back into the drop and roll oh. routine. Pull up to school, tuck and roll, really. Get out. Yeah. Let's go. I was going to say, do you even <laughs> stop? Um, yeah. I should have put a stop in front. It's at least a 30 second stop. So. Oh, Whoop. okay. That was yeah. nice. We're, nice we're in a good mom. place. <laughs> yeah. Very good. And then um, Flex, he'll be missed, but bringing in the uh, the workout tips today is my wife, Shannon. Hello. Hello. Fresh off the COVID train. Yes, yes. Yeah, welcome back. All, all aboard the COVID train, everybody. Oh, yep. We'll that's okay. You... I didn't get it. And that's what counts. <laughs> <laughs> Women rule this episode, so I'm excited about that one. That's a rare treat yes. here on CBR. We're, uh, we're definitely lacking in testosterone. Actually, no one's missing the testosterone, uh, <laughs> but we got a lot of good stuff for you today. Uh, lots to talk about. Some interesting booze news, uh, modern times, more drama over there between them and Maui Brewing. There's some hard seltzers that are hitting the uh, the world that I thought Flex would be real happy about, but he's not here. He's, he's off taking care of sick children and working on his abs. So we will do it without him <laughs> in his absence. In the meantime, we are all drinking the same beer, compliments of the light that is the darkness in Florida. Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. So let's crack open with some hydration and talk about that. We're dog sitting, and uh, the stranger dog looked over at me when I started dancing. Like, the fuck is happening in there? <laughs> Meanwhile, our dog has completely ignored us and left. Oh yeah! As soon as uh, as soon as the radio voice comes out, he runs downstairs. He like, knows fuck the this. Yeah, <laughs> Dad, your podcast is garbage. <laughs> uh, like I said, thanks to Vanessa, we are all drinking Tripping Animals Lager Me Bro. It was their collab beer for Miami Beer Week. They say it's a beer made for Miami Beer Week as a groundbreaking collaboration between all of the South Florida breweries. And there's a ton of breweries on the can. I'm not even going to attempt to name them all. 4.2%, no IBUs listed, and a 372 on untapped. What a surprise. The people of untapped don't like something. We'll get into that in a few. Uh, anyways, so this is a crispy boy. Let me dig the mm, schnoz mm. in here. Has, there, has everybody tried this yet? Yeah, Going it's really delicious. It. Dipping in. Get that typical crispy smell with a little bit of uh, sweetness. It almost smells like, I don't know, like a corniness. Just a little hint of sweet on the nose. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lager. Very crispy. Yeah. It's a good, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's a lager. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's very light. Um, no real hoppiness or anything like that. And not the driest of finishes either. Um, just light, easy, crushing lager for a hot day. A little bit of yeasty boys floating in that glass. Yeah, definitely some yeasty boys. I had to yeah. comment on the can too. You know, they always have these rad cans for tripping animals. And mm -hmm. there's a rooster on this bad boy. And, um, so we have chickens and we're learning this whole process now that we live a little more in the country. <laughs> We got well two. Of them. Doon, 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 yeah, exactly. It's 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 a process, and several have been taken by a fox during oh. broad daylight. So oh oh, my husband's solution is like we're eating baby chicks. Let's get some more, and we'll like you know figure this out. So we have some baby <laughs> chicks, but they don't guarantee that they're going to be uh, pullets. Like there could be a rooster in there, right? Because they're oh. trying to you know figure out the sex when they're really little. So yesterday morning, I wake up and I hear this little. I'm like, oh, shit, one of these, I think, is a rooster, <laughs> um, which is going to be pretty sad because I think it might be my son's. I don't know. I'll update you in a few weeks. But um, uh oh, because we are Mommy, not hanging on to the eggs. Right. <laughs> We're not hanging on to the rooster. So let's hope it was just like a mismatch. I don't know. Would they like 
take it back? Like, do you have to find a home for the rooster? Like, yeah, we'll try and find a home. My husband's kind of like, we could just let it out and let nature happen. I know that's <laughs> awful, but um, <laughs> maybe you could find uh, a home between two buns with some bacon and mayo. I know it's kind of like I don't get super attached to them, um, especially as they get bigger. But uh, we we'll try and, and find creepy. a home. There are people that want roosters because, well, they want more chickens. I don't know, or like, and they apparently protect the chickens so you don't get as many foxes uh, taking them away or coyotes or whatever is taking our chickens. But anyways, this makes me think of that. And we'll see if we have a rooster or not. But <laughs> this rooster looks cocky. I run. But, <laughs> but those roosters are like they're they're kind of like hoes, right? Like they'll go through the entire coop and then you'll end up with like a shit ton of chickens. Yeah, exactly. We're not game for that. These things are yeah. <laughs> smelly and I don't know. We we get plenty of eggs. We're all right. So um, just start a yeah. uh, cockfighting ring. It'll be great. Oh, no geez. way. No way. <laughs> it will not last here. That's all I have to say. Let's hope it. Let's hope it's not a rooster. Anyways, great beer. Thank you, Vanessa. Yes. Thanks, Vanessa. You, yeah, refreshing. You digging? I love it. It's really good. Light, good. crispy, has a little sweetness on the finish. It's a solid lager. Yeah. And since it's 900 degrees out, it's. I was just spot. gonna say it's 102 here today. It's been 100 all week, so this is perfect. Oof. It's 82 here right now at noon something, so it's only getting warmer. Yep. All right. What else? Oh, I wanted to talk about some technical things real quick to all the listeners. Just a heads up. It shouldn't mean anything at all to anybody, but uh, we recently switched podcast hosts. That's where we actually host the podcast files. Uh, Things are put in place so that nobody should ever know the difference. I just wanted to make you aware in case for some reason like things aren't downloading properly um let me know it it shouldn't do anything at all but if you're having any issues with things downloading or showing up the way they are uh hit us up mail at crappyrepoke.com let me know like what you're using and all that stuff so i can hunt down the problem uh we've already had one show uh release on the new platform and i hadn't heard any issues so i think we're good um but uh time time will tell so if you guys have any issues please please let me know I'll, i'll try and figure it out for you uh, also, speaking of podcast hosts, we talk about how uh, we're huge in Finland, get the jet ready, then we we start charting in India, and now, regas up the jet, we are charting in the UK. Oh, sweet. Yes. So my takeaway is that apparently America hates us. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is, huh? Yeah. Taking over the world, aside from... Excited from home. Yeah. So uh, at least it's an English speaking country. I can understand why they might listen to the. I don't understand why the people who don't speak our language listen to this show. I mean, there's nothing in it for them <laughs> at all. It's not like we're teaching them. English. In fact, I'm the worst person to, le- to learn English from because I fuck up everything. So uh, <laughs> if you're in another country and you don't already speak English, stop listening to the show immediately. You will be so sorry when you go somewhere and try <laughs> to use that English. You'll just stutter your way through ordering a Big Mac or something. <laughs> That'll be super embarrassing. So, but anyway, what's up, UK? Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, it's cool to chart in the other countries. Glad to see at least someone's liking us, even if it's not our okay. our home crowd. So, thank you. Cheers to that. Yeah. Um, trivia. You guys like beer trivia and like doing trivia nights at breweries and stuff. I haven't really done it. Have you guys? I enjoy it. I don't think you like it as much. I mean, we've done it a couple of times. Yeah. We don't like seek it out. But if we show up and they're doing trivia, we'll give it a shot. Okay. We do okay. We, um, we're never in last place. Yeah. That's what counts. You're not like these intense people with like a team and like get really, because that no, happens also, a lot here in Sacramento that I've heard like people really geek out on it and they have their trivia teams and, <laughs> you know, and it's they'll funny. go from trivia night to trivia. Oh, yes. yeah. Like, and they're serious. I, I was recently talking with a brewer who I will remain nameless on the show that was having trivia nights and these people were coming in and cleaning up week after week after week but also not buying any beer and the prizes were also gift cards to the brewery and they weren't using the gift card like they would just come in win and bounce nothing they never use the gift cards never buy beer and finally after weeks and weeks and weeks and and the thing is you miss out on like hundreds of dollars hundreds of dollars by having someone there for three four hours and not buying anything so after weeks and weeks and weeks this Brewer finally went over and, and just nicely said, like, hey, you know, kind of the point of this is so people have a beer or two, have a good time. And 
um, you know, we're having to turn other people away and you guys, you know, aren't, aren't buying anything. And if you're not drinkers, that's fine. We totally understand. You know, we, we have some other stuff that you could get and, and they don't ever buy the food from the food trucks either. So they're like, can we also have food trucks and blah, blah, blah. And they, uh, they finished the game one again left and then left a one star review on Yelp. Wow. For their efforts. So yeah, people are assholes. That is a, that is a total asshole move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man. So like, don't to, do that. Yeah. Get to the point where like they have to go over and talk to him. They obviously had done this for pe- Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> also, I would feel so awkward as that brewer slash owner. Like, oh, hi, I need right. to tell you something through my teeth. So, um, but yeah, don't, don't be those people. But anyways, yeah. this all got started because uh, I am going to start doing, I'm thinking monthly. And if it goes really well and I just find that I have an abundance of free time on my hands, maybe by monthly, you know, twice a month or every other week or whatever. I want to start doing a beer trivia night on the gram. Someone recently did this and I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And I also thought there were some things they could have improved upon just the way they they handled it. But overall, it was a lot of fun. So I'm thinking uh, once a month and maybe we'll, we'll kick it up to twice a month if it goes over well. On the gram, we'll do a, a Instagram live trivia and I'll ask some questions. And, you know, if you get it right, the way this person was doing it was they were uh, right answers were getting entered into like a wheel. And then at the end of the game, all the you know the names spun and there was a winner. So, you know, we'll give away some stickers or some swag yeah. or if I'm feeling extra givey, maybe I'll throw a beer in there or something. Pretzel and necklace. I can pretzel throw necklace. Those. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So uh, cool. anyways, check out the gram, Crappy Republic. I'll, I'll give plenty of notice before our first one. I'll, I'll post some graphics on our stories and that kind of stuff. And, uh, but make sure you're following us and, uh, yeah, look out for some, some trivia. I was thinking Tuesdays might be fun just cause alliteration is great. And, you know, trivia Tuesday trivia or something. Tuesday. Yep. But Tuesdays are also yep. like the night I edit the show. So. Ooh, you might <laughs> so we'll be putting see. a little much on your plate yeah, there. That yeah. might be a, a busy, <laughs> shitty Tuesday. Maybe so, Thursday. Yeah. Trivia Thursday. Thirsty Thursday trivia. I don't yeah. know. Right. We'll figure something out. Doesn't there doesn't have to be alliteration? Um, I'm just weird. So, anyways, uh, check out the gram for that. All right, enough from me. Uh, Erica has been dabbling with uh, some GABF action. Oh yeah, well, like, GABF was like the reason for my business, right? So, quick story: you know, my husband went there first. But, um, I just had a baby, so I couldn't go. And he saw that there were all these people wearing pretzel necklaces. And it was like such a big deal that he's like, where can I buy these? You can't. He spent half a day with his <laughs> friends, like getting the supplies, putting them together, blah, 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 blah. Right. So it's like, hey, we would start making our own. People, where'd you buy that? Okay, we need to start making these. Mm-hmm. Love yeah. GABF. And you drink so much when you're there, right? It's, Still you been. need, yeah, you need the snacks. Okay, well, we're going next year. You guys all know that, right? Yes. Oh, you gotta go. GABF. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, I always reach out to them like, Hey, can I get a booth? Can I, you know, and they're like the Mecca They're you know, they have a very large wall between them and everyone else because <laughs> they can, right? Right. <laughs> They've never responded to me. And then, um, just a couple months ago, they found me, uh, I, cause I asked them, I'm like, Hey, where'd you hear about me? They're like, well, we Googled pretzel necklaces and found your name. So I was like, Oh, all those emails really worked. No, nope. right, yeah. um, <laughs> at least your SEO is working. Right. Yeah. Let's, at least I have some SEO going on there. Um, and so they are getting some hold my beer necklaces, which is mm. our like top necklace that holds your beer glass and has pretzels on the side. It's like everything you need to like just party on and with some cool GABF, um, logo on the cut that package and it's it's going to be a lot of fun so they're ordering a bunch of those for gabf with them um, from neck nosh and nice. giving them to some of their their vips and i'm really excited i asked can i have a booth and they said <laughs> by the time they had found me they're like there is not a single space left but they said maybe next year so we'll see I would we're just going to find there. you like set up in front of the bathroom with the I, this is I, I literally was like can i just come with like a tricycle and like fill my little cart and roll around the outside they're like no you can't like we we kick those people out i was like oh okay i, f- I figured as much like, i thought i'd ask no motorized devices and drinking that sounds like, a horrible <laughs> like i don't care i'll i'll like carry the stick around where they're hanging from like a <laughs> like a ball par- i don't care like, like, like the cotton no. candy guy at a baseball right. game like, yeah like, oh we kick those people out i'm like okay all right i'm done trying for now son of a bitch we're gonna go either way next year just plan on it and if i have a booth that'll be even better because we'll have like the inside scoop nice yeah let's do yeah. it and that event um it's called it's pints for prostates and it's like um one or two nights before they do all the best beers and food and it's it the rare beer great. one, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is so good. And then 
there's just so much at GABF you can't even you know touch what's there but right. we're, we're doing it next year this yeah. year it collides with aftershock so i don't care if it does <laughs> next year we're going so yeah. it'll be fun get cbr and a bunch of oh, friends yeah. yeah we have a friend uh davis lives in denver and oh, he sorry. sometimes goes to gabf but he is all about rare beer he, okay. he does not miss that one he says it's the best one by far it is ridiculous i can't believe like that their tickets don't sell out instantly um they're it's insane and then they have this other event that's like actual gabf because that's like a off the side one um but then the one called paired that's part of gabf it was pretty good they had like bites and stuff and then you can slide from there right into like the main facility and then do gabf it mm. was pretty good but i i just hands down that pints for prostates i would go there just for that yeah it's funny this is here's a reference that nobody on the show will get since flex okay. isn't here it's like wrestlemania every time there's a <laughs> wrestlemania weekend all around wrestlemania all the other wrestling companies do events. Hmm. Yeah. And sometimes okay. they're more fun than WrestleMania, at least from a wrestling standpoint. And there it's like, go. oh, let's jump on all the wrestling fans being on town this weekend. Do it. So it's the same thing. It's like, let's jump on all these right. alcoholics being in town this weekend and set up some extra beer festivals. For sure. I, that's actually where I've gotten orders like every October. It's like the Hilton that's near GABF will order them for like their people. I, I get all that, but I've never How actually funny. got GABF. So, uh, yeah, we're so going just you're gonna have to shut that week down. You guys we're just going, <laughs> we're going whenever it is. As soon as the dates roll out, block it off. Shut it awesome. down. Shut it down. We're going. Everybody's yeah. walking around with Hilton pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I know. Hey, where'd you, where'd you get, get those? Hilton. The Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> Are, do you um, when, when places like GABF buy pretzels and, and especially in such big quantities like that, mm -hmm. do you get to keep your logo on the packaging? Or? Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. So it's about a third the size of their logo. Um, and they, they pay extra put theirs on there if they mm. don't want just mainly mine, but it's not a big fee. It's, it's totally worth it to them. But yeah, I keep mine on there. I've nice. had a couple people ask not to. And if it's like a big enough order where it's like thousands of, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Right. Like make <laughs> it worth it your while. And, yeah. Right. Like exactly. Don't Everyone's got a while. price. Exactly. <laughs> you can buy me. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I had, this, this is going to sound horrible. I had a teacher once. I went to film school. I had a teacher once that uh, got in some trouble because, you know, in, in the movie industry and TV and film, like everyone is basically freelance. There's no such thing as a full time job. <laughs> he said, look, we're all whores out there yeah. and we're all all looking for the next dollar. Oh, goes, so don't don't turn anything down unless you got work and blah, blah, blah. And he ended up getting in trouble for calling for saying that. Yeah. Some, somebody got a little yeah. sensitive about it. It's like he called us all whores. <laughs> He's, okay. they're not saying drop your pants like have yeah. your boundaries right yeah <laughs> it's about just taking jobs keep like, keep the pants on just, yeah uh, right like collect a paycheck would you like, yeah anyways uh and then finally uh speaking of things to buy not just pretzels we have some new hats and Sweet. uh just got them posted today as we record this show if you go to craftyourpublic.com and if you go to the store there's actually like two links for the store there's the main store and then like when you put your mouse over it I'm sorry, this is so confusing. Another little drop down comes down and says hats. It's just for the hats because we have two different suppliers for our other shit. So gotcha. uh, <laughs> go to craftyourboat.com, go to store, click on the little hats drop down. And we have uh, this will really uh, appeal to the uh, California residents. It's the uh, drink local with the uh, California grizzly in the background. It kind of looks like yeah. the flag and says Crappy Republic on it. Uh, red bill, red font. It's kind of cool looking. It's really cool looking. I like it. So um, check those out. I'll be posting about on the gram. So get them now. There's not very many. I did a very small run to see how they go. If they do well, uh, either I'll print some more or print some more, have some more made, or uh, maybe I'll make those special and change Ooh. it a little bit. So only 12 Limited people edition. have that first run. Yeah. So fancy. Uh, all right. We've talked about this a lot. I even hinted, it, uh, hinted to it earlier as we started the show. The people of Untapped, and by that I mean the users, are idiots and assholes 97% of the time and or don't know anything about what they're talking about. It's well documented on here that uh, I am not happy with the reviews that Morning Watch has received on Untapped. <sighs> now I understand why Nick, the brewer over there at 14 Cannons, just doesn't even look at Untapped. They don't even make sense half the time. Um... And or are just mean. So anyways, I went through and I found all the mean or unkind or reviews that don't make sense for Morning Watch on Untapped. Thought I'd, I'd read a couple of them. Maybe we'll spread this out. A couple this week, a couple next week. Um, this asshole says, <laughs> this ain't it. 
coffee in the wind and we're left with what could have been what the fuck does that mean he just wanted to be poetic he's like what can i do here yeah Yeah. also based on that description what would you say he reviewed number wise like what would he what would he give the beer Coffee in the wind and left what might have been to me that sounds negative yeah i would definitely under three Uh uh-huh yeah uh yeah he gave it a three that sounds a little high for uh what might have been his his poetic bullshittery thanks brand brew and this person says there is a hoppy question mark element that throws it off just a bit but otherwise a very nice it's a coffee kolsch fyi <laughs> <laughs> because it's exa- it's advertised exactly as that and you may need right. to know that yeah. it's a coffee kolsch. just fyi he yeah. gave it a three and a half not the worst so well and i don't think I think that may be a little misunderstanding on his part. I don't think the bitterness comes from hops. No, it does not. It comes from the coffee. Coffee. Yes. A good, Very a good point. mild, noble German hops were used in that beer on purpose because the bitterness comes from the coffee. Also, I imagine he was surprised that like he wasn't expecting, like he didn't read the poster when he read it, when he ordered it. He just like, oh, Cole shall take it. And then was like, FYI, this is coffee because uh-huh. I can't fucking read. I also think that people assume a coffee beer will have sweetness, will be and, sweet yeah. or malty and, thick. and, yeah. and or yeah. dark. They don't expect it to have a lightness and really not have that like sweet malt forward yeah. flavor. Yeah. Well, even like Nick's last coffee beer at 14 cans before that was liquid gold. And that had um had some, I think it had lactose in it. Like, yeah. It just like a hint of creamy sweetness to it. And even though a light beer still had that too. So I think that's what people are expecting when they have something like a coffee Kolsch. Mm-hmm. But anyways, thanks assholes. <laughs> you know, Flex's idea about like some sort of filter or like distinction between like your level of beer knowledge or something like that. Um, like maybe they should have a, if you're, if you want an account, you have to take like a quick a quiz. Little quiz. <laughs> Right? I love like, it. I love just it. Just a simple knowledge. Yeah. Like, do you get beer? Okay, then we'll let you rate. You know, I don't know, but it, it is what it is. It's, it's for the masses, not for the. Yeah. I know, mean, it's the fucking MySpace of beer check ins. Yeah. There you go. So I will say, though, I don't think those are as bad as people get. So, like, I don't think those oh, are. Oh, no. There's much worse. Sure. I just think they're stupid. Like, they're not yeah. the meanest ones in the world. They're just dumb. Well, I find that most people on Untapped, the reviews they give don't actually tell you anything about the beer. Right. Which I won't review a beer like with words unless I'm saying something to give someone some sort of help. Because I will look at, you know, if I'm deciding between, between two beers, I'll look it up and be like, oh, this one has a higher score. Let's see. Maybe this one got some, you know, didn't get a fair shake or whatever. And I'll, I'll read right, a few right. reviews and you can usually tell who the idiots are and, and who actually knows what they're talking about. So... <laughs> How you doing with your beer over there? Uh, I, I still have a little. All right. Well, you before you uh, finish that up, we make a call the panel. I'll start with one story over here. Um, does everybody know who the Nappy Roots are? The rap group mm-hmm. based out of Atlanta? Hotlanta. I'm sure they hate it when we say Hotlanta. <laughs> Anyways, um, a few of the members of Nappy Roots co-own Atlantucky Brewing and Scales, one of the rappers. Oh. Well, one of the rappers. <laughs> Scales, one of the... Uh, rappers out of the group was robbed and kidnapped and shot at his own brewery what over the weekend yeah the last i've heard they still haven't caught the people who did it but um came to the brewery robbed kidnapped shot him he's he's alive he lived he's living he should be fine but so he's um, not gonna die today (laughs) did all of his homies ride that day that was not a good so. day like i just think of the, all the things because like I'll, I'll like jam that song in the morning with my kids like we're gonna have a good day it's like thinking nobody's gonna die today well i mean he was right yeah, i'm wondering if his true. homies did ride that day though oh i bet some riding happened. i hope they did yeah but he did so. not save his troubles for another day that, <laughs> that was the freaking day i went down sorry nappy yeah that's too bad. So anyways, uh, hey, stop shooting people at breweries. Come on. <laughs> the fuck Jeez. is this? Anyways, our, our best to him and and uh, ho- hopefully a speedy recovery over there. And hopefully he's able to ride with the homies soon I, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, Modern Times has filed a notice of layoffs. They plan to lay off 120 employees before the transition over to Maui. Maui says they're going to rehire most 
of those employees that get, or they'll have the opportunity to rehire if they don't want their job. Obviously they don't have to, but yeah. they plan to rehire most of those employees and do not plan for a mass layoff. Good for them. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of, it I mean, must be some sort of weird, like asset shuffling or something before yeah. the sale goes through. Cause it's weird. Like, Hey, you're all fired, but Hey, come on back next week. Right. We got you. It's some sort of tax kind of thing. Like, well, we had to lay all these people yeah. off. So, or, or, or maybe giving them once again, if you get laid off, right, you get some benefits helping them out in that way potentially That's true. i don't know there could there could be some maybe yeah. positive there could there. also be know. something about like longevity with the company oh uh, yeah oh, right i guess if, not having to fulfill yeah. yeah if maui wants their employees to be the longest employed or something like that i didn't think about that one yeah. i figured it's more like what eric was saying like taxes or uh assets or something like that for the transition yeah, but it could have to do with like retirement funds and things like that too. Not, that is interesting. Not to be a negative Nancy, but All right, Nance. I know. Hey, I'm I, I hear spirit. you, Nance. <laughs> At least you're not a Karen. I'd rather have a Nance. Oh my god, you're the worst. What? Take the beer. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're Just, sharing over here. If you yeah. want me to narrate, Greg reaches over to hand a beer to Shannon. Shannon looks away. Greg gets infuriated. You're the worst. Everything's Not only does okay. Shannon She's look pouring. away, she then starts pouring like the few dribbles that she had in her glass into a water bottle with a tiny opening. So then it becomes a science project on top of it. She's like, take She's the goddamn beer. Get a clean glass. The end of my other beer was a little yeasty. Uh -huh. Yeah. There are some, I just, there's you know, a little mowage. more sediment in that beer than I expected it. Yeah. Mowage. <laughs> Can you tell we're married? All <laughs> right. I love it. Let's, let's, let's do this. I got to bring Sterling on here one yeah, time too. Let's get him so in here. Like, That'd be awesome. We got a few years on you guys, so it gets, it gets pretty, you know. <laughs> you got a few years and a couple of kids on us. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can You've been in the trenches. It. Yep. All right. Now that she's finally taken the beer out of my hand, let's make a call with the pen. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Yeah, he does. We are drinking Captain Kolsch. It is my Kolsch homebrew that I've talked about many a time on the show. It is right around 4.8%. Uh, right around 25 IBUs, I believe it was. And this is all kind of top of my head. Anyways, simple Kolsch recipe. No coffee in this one, unlike Morning Watch. Just wanted something easy drinking and crispy for the summer. Overall, I think it turned out really well. You know, Kolsch yeast, it's got that Kolsch -y, What's a good word? I want to say thick. It's not thick, though, at all. But, you know, Kolsch yeast just has a different feel to it than mm -hmm. other yeasts do. Um, and it's got that, that ester that Kolsch yeast gives off. I will say... There's a tiny, can't quite put my finger on it, off flavor. This has gotten better since I, I overcarbed it at first and mm. I've let some of the pressure off and it's actually drinking a little bit better than it mm -hmm. was. Um, I'm going to dig in here and try. There's just the tiniest hint of an off flavor that I'm not thrilled about. Sure what it is. Yeah. You get the standard like cereal kind of sweetness, maltiness from the Kolsch. It's still really light and easy to drink. It just has a little bit more of that sweetness that I think you get from a Kolsch more so than like a Pills. standard Pilsner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It, maybe it's the sweetness that I'm getting. It just, there's a hint of something just ever so light that I don't love about it. Overall, it's pretty easy drinking, pretty crushable, good on a hot day. Uh, you know, 4.8%. You can't go wrong drinking like 10 of these. So what's your, what would you give it on untapped? And by the way, this is a Kolsch. Just so everybody knows. <laughs> FYI. Oh, yeah. FYI, this is a Kolsch, but um uh let me write a poem to what it could have been. Okay, Hold on a what second. It could have been. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been a lager. Right. What was it? Uh, coffee in the wind, and we're left with what could have been. Yeah. <laughs> uh I would give it, I don't know, like a three two five on untapped. Yeah, I'm like a three two five. Yeah. Uh, I'm I know yeah, I'm a little I'm harsh wrong. on my own yeah. supply um bleh, my own supply, but um of all the Kolsch's I've made, I think this is the third or fourth one. Uh, it's my least favorite. Yes. Oh. And that is, that is part of sort of my rating and I'm comparing it to some of the other res recipes and versions of this beer. And it's definitely not my favorite yeah. of those. He's Here's done the better. Yeah. yeah. Here's the weird thing. Same recipe. Mm -hmm. All three or four have been the same recipe. The only difference with this one, this is the first time I've made a Kolsch and carved it in a keg with CO2 instead of bottle conditioning it. Oh, weird right i would think okay. that would make it better because that would take away a little bit right. of that sweetness because in order to condition it, you put sugar in right and so i don't know it's weird i'm surprised that this one's not the best one it's also the first one that i did in a temperature controlled 
chamber. Yeah. Okay. Usually I just leave these things out in the open and they ferment okay. whatever temp the kitchen is. But uh, I had some space in the kegerator, so I was able to actually ferment at specific temperatures. And um, I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time it's sitting Dang. down in the kitchen again. Dang. Yeah. It's still drinkable, though. It's not like a... Yeah, it's not garbage. It's not bad. You've been talking... Yeah. You mentioned it a few weeks back and you're like, oh, I got this cold. It's almost ready. So I was kind of wondering, yeah, how did that, how did that happen? Yeah. Uh, I got a kegerator story right now, but it just, just happened. We have one out on our... Uh, our new house has one outside. So it's yeah, kind of cool. You stuff have like a an old, whole like uh, outdoor kitchen set up, right? Yeah, totally. And it's like a while back. So we're out in the country and there are rattlesnakes sometimes. Mm. Yeah. It's like if a snake crawled like, through your tap, I'm hanging up on this call dude, right now. <laughs> dude, it it wasn't quite that bad, but okay. Oh my gosh! So they say you find like one a year out here. Okay, so I'm just waiting and waiting. We've been here a year. Like we hired the snake guy when I hired this when we first moved here. He's like walk through our property, talk <laughs> to like, us, talk to me, talk to me, goose. Tell me what's going down. <laughs> so it's it's been fine. It's been fine. So just like a week ago, Sterling goes out. We just got like this Mexican lager on tap out there because summer, you know, you want something light and right. he walks out to the keg and and hears this and it was laying across the ground in front of the keg and just like went in behind it. No. Mm -mm. Mm yeah. Mm -mm. Call the snake. I'm like, Sterling, can I call the snake? Please let me call the <laughs> snake guy. So we called him up and uh, he was here in like 20 minutes. The guy like pulled everything out from our outdoor barbecue and like got back in. You know what? There's something that kid good came from this because that snake wanted nothing to do with us or that oh. the, the snake guy. It was well, hiding. Good. It wasn't striking. He was like trying to get it. it was she, I don't know, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. Um was yeah, it I don't care. Just get it out of here. Um was trying to get away. Trying to get away. Trying to get away. Like and the snake dude's like reaching in there with no glove on his hand. Oh like, fuck that. I know. And then he had this hook. Anyways, he got it, eventually put it in the bucket. Uh, I guess what I learned from it is they're not aggressive unless, I don't know, provoked. if you stepped on it, it would probably bite you immediately, right? But it was just yeah. trying to get away. But he's like, it's so this goddamn is super hot. Rare. It's like, shade, leave me alone. Yes, exactly. And it's like super rare. He's like, this is super rare. You know, it probably just found, they're very like, like, I guess they don't really go to the same place every time kind of thing. They just kind of mm -hmm. cruise through. But oh my gosh, that scared the it out of me like yeah no thanks no thanks yeah is there it, a way to like stop it from being able to get back there like could you end up with another snake back there well we could like he said once again this was super rare and like the previous owners kind of told us about all their experiences over seven years and th that, that had never happened <laughs> and and that space so we're like oh my gosh but yeah we need to block it off because yeah just in case like i want to have comfort when i have a beer <laughs> yeah that's what beer is all about that's what beer is about. And Mexican lager is just never, it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> it just doesn't taste the same anymore. Go out there tiptoeing. <laughs> Anyways. Ugh, no thanks. Yeah, we were That's hiking. The cake writer. Yeah, we were hiking in the summer and we had our dog with us who's about 25, 26 pounds when he's on, not on a diet. Um, and this huge, huge rattlesnake started crossing the trail. Oh, dang. And you could see that it just eaten. There's a big bump in the middle oh, of it. Oh, yeah. And so, like, I put my arms out. I stopped. I was like, stop. And it just, it didn't even look at us. It just continued crossing the trail and going uphill and then went on its way. Like, didn't yeah. even look back. Some guy comes jogging around the corner. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. wait yes. I was like, and I just pointed. He's like, oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do not want. Yeah. And it was full, right? So it was happy, but. Yeah, I actually don't think they're that aggressive unless you step on one or, right, like, or get like threaten it or threaten it, right? But still, I just we're pretty careful. We got kids, right? So, but yeah, the whole yeah. thing was not was not my best day. Everyone, yeah, no, I'd, I'd fucking burn it down. <laughs> yeah, thank bye bye. Yeah, thank God for the snake guy. He he was out here and he just kicked ass at that snake nice. wrangling. Way to go, snake, snake guy. Way to go, snake guy. <laughs> Way to do your job. I, I tried to send him with a beer, too. I'm like, here, take some beer. He's like, oh, I don't know if I should. I'm like, seriously, you earned that. Like, like, I'm not <laughs> telling on you. You do you. Yeah, seriously. That's funny. Sonic, this one was for Flex. Sonic, like the fast food brand, their hard seltzer is now official, the official hard seltzer of the Big 12 Conference with a three-year contract. So now when you're watching the Big 12, you can have yourself a sonic hard seltzer because there's not enough hard seltzer options out there gross yeah. that seems like it would be very sweet look yeah. i love ocean water from sonic i like to order it and then dump a bunch of vodka in it 
But um, their seltzers just sound like sugary messes, and I don't want right. anything to do with it. Right. The, the reason you drink a hard seltzer is you want alcohol with no cal like low calories, right? Yeah. So yeah. I imagine their hard seltzer, I would just be like a mass load of calories and sweetness. Sounds disgusting. I don't know. Like, I guess I could have done homework and looked that up, but I'm just going to go on what it sounds like. And it sounds like no. <laughs> calories and disgustingness. Yeah, it's a no. Yeah. Hard pass. Uh, as we all know, because we're all from California, a huge drought happening right now. It's hot as balls and no water is happening. Uh, the Mex the president of Mexico has called for an end to beer production in the northern region due to the drought. And they say if you want to continue brewing, and this is pointed at Heineken and Modelo, they do a lot of their brewing in northern Mexico. You have to move down south where we actually have water. Hmm. Wow. It's yeah. like, do you want the people to be alive or happy? I don't know. I guess <laughs> you just have to figure that out. Like Maybe they just switch the uh, water supply Priorities. over to over to beer it's probably safer <laughs> in mexico so <laughs> i got that i got that montezuma's revenge when i went there that was oh, oh yeah no. me too. Oh. once i got back i got oh. i got it on the way back i i had uh, oh no i had a layover in mexico city and then came back over and it was when i was on my layover in mexico city i went oh no and i oh, run no. <laughs> to a bathroom and luckily like not to get too detailed but i did enough damage in the airport to where like i was safe for the two hours home until i got <laughs> back on terra firma didn't have to do anything in the airplane and then once i got home it was like two weeks of oh, oh no horribleness and like going to work I, like i can't take especially you know freelance can't take two weeks off of work so mm -mm. it was <laughs> it was <laughs> oh bad my gosh. so bad. at least it was the last that? day it didn't ruin my vacation it was, I was teaching summer school. So it was like school's out. And then I had like a week. So we went to Mexico and then got back in the morning of summer school. The first day I'm like, Oh, I don't even know if I know where the bathrooms are. This is like a different school. <laughs> I think I was late and the kids were getting in there. And oh. it was like the first day. It was one of those just like, Oh, worst timing ever. But thankfully summer school is like three hours long. So oh, good. But it's one of those <laughs> things where like it hits you and you go, Oh no, no, it's, it's like done. it just comes out of nowhere. The first one is like, oh, oh, that's what it is. Here we go. <laughs> Strap it in. Oh, dear. Anyways, oh. Uh, good luck down there in Mexico. Here we go. Let's, let's take a trip to Florida. Oh. Well, actually, sort of Florida. A teenager from Florida was pulled over for not being drunk while in Georgia. What? Okay. <laughs> a teenager wait, from wait. Sarah... Yeah? In Georgia? Yes. They were from Florida, but in Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. A teenager from Sarasota, Florida, was stopped for speeding on I-75 in Monroe County shortly after midnight on July 21st. The 18-year-old was reportedly blazing along at 93 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone when he was pulled over. The sheriff's deputy who stopped the southbound teen soon caught whiffs of marijuana and alcohol coming from inside the Honda. The teen said, my anaconda don't want... Oh, no. <laughs> Honda back uh -huh. in the... Yeah, uh -huh. so. Sure. Like big butts. Yeah, like. As the teen okay. whose eyes were red and watery acknowledged that he had been smoking weed. When the deputy also found a half empty bottle of Crown, Crown Royal in the car, the teen insisted he'd not been boozing. I'm not drunk, the teen said, and I haven't been drinking. I'm only high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the young man arrested on DUI charge uh, at first consented to a blood test, and he said he didn't do needles well, it changed his mind. He also informed the deputy that. Uh, after all, I'm not high as hell. I'm just high and coming down. <laughs> oh, gee. Anyways, charge with DUI. Oh, man. Take <laughs> your poison. I uh, yeah. I don't know if driving high is any better than... In fact, in some states, I'd imagine it's probably worse because weed's probably not legal down there in the South. Yeah. But it's harder for them to test, right? So maybe that's well, why... Well, weed stays, stays in your system for 30 days, though. Yeah. I mean, just so, like on the field, right? When you're out. Yes. Definitely harder yeah. to do a field test for a week. Yes. I don't know. Just tell them a joke. They <laughs> start laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. say something really stupid <laughs> yeah. and see how right, long right. it takes them to stop laughing. Just play That's our show. One. And if they laugh, they're either high or from Finland, UK, or India. <laughs> <laughs> so if they don't have an accent and they're laughing at our show, Definitely high. That's a good test. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to save that for when my kids get a little older, too. I'm just like, tell them dad jokes or something. And if they're like, ah, I'm like, go to your room. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's a really good time. One time I, I came home high and uh, my dad's, uh, I guess, second wife stared me in the eye and like, and I, it's not something I did a lot as a teenager, but I, you know, I had a little here and there. And like, I walked in the door and she was already at the front door and just like stares me down as I walk in. And I'm sure she was trying to see if my eyes were red or not dilating or what, you know, whatever it was. And I was like, can I help you? She's like, what you doing? I was like, coming home. What you been doing? I was like, hanging out. Okay. I was like, what the fuck was that? It was the weirdest thing ever. She should have told me a joke though. I would have lost yeah, my shit. That would have been, yeah. that's a really clutch. Well, yeah. Your mom had no idea with a Wood Ranch, your Wood Ranch gift card. Oh yeah. I know this is a beer show, but let's tell some weed stories. <laughs> um, my, my best friend and I, this is, I don't know, is before you and I were together, yeah. probably like 10 years ago. We, there's a, a barbecue restaurant out here called Wood Ranch and I had like a $50 gift card and uh, I, I hit her up, was like, hey, I got, I got a bunch of money at Wood Ranch. You want to get high and just order an insane amount of barbecue? And she's like, fuck it, let's do it. So we ordered it and then we smoked in the parking lot of Wood Ranch and then like went and picked up the food and went home. And that way, like by the time we got home, it was, you know, it was kicking in and we were buzzing pretty good. And we, and at the time I was still living at my mom's house and like we get in and the two of us had enough food to like feed a family of eight. And we set up in the kitchen, we start pulling out our food and my mom is just watching us pull out this never ending like pile of food containers and we did not share we didn't offer to share we just oh. annihilated like <laughs> eight people's food. worth and they just like watched it ate their whatever crappy home meal that they made like uh that would be nice to have some of that we're, we're just over here scarfing down <laughs> Oh God! It so was excited, great. yeah, digging yeah. in, probably. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, probably They're laughing like at the stupidest shit jerks. too. <laughs> yeah, such jerks. And we thought we were so so like they don't know we're high. They have no, no idea. If they don't, if they didn't know we were high, then they're the idiots, not us. But uh, otherwise, we're dumb. That was good times. <laughs> so fucking stoned. Uh, we'll end it with this one: countries that drink the most beer. Uh, per capita. Do you guys have any guesses as to which country drinks the most beer per capita? I'll give you a hint. It's not us. Uh, yeah. Ireland, Germany. Yeah. England? Bavarian countries. Or something, you know, like. They are European. Aust so you guys are... Austria. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> Austria is second. Okay. Austria's no, okay. Second. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll start uh, at number 10, two, three. Uh, spoiler alert. We're not on it. Well, we're... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're, we're number 17. Mm. All right. But anyways, number 10. All right, starting at number 10, the country we thought we'd be a lot higher, Ireland. Wow, okay. Number nine, okay. Slovakia. Number eight, Lithuania. Number seven, oh, fuck. <laughs> Namiba? Hmm. Namib, N-A-M-I-B-A. Apologies, Namibians. Uh, yeah. Estonia. All right. Okay. Getting European here. Germany. All right. Not surprised. Expected. Yeah. Number four, Romania. Top three, Poland, Austria. Yeah. And by a landslide, Czech Republic. Oh, oh okay. It kind of makes right. sense. You know, Czech yeah. pills, Czech, all that kind of stuff. Czech blogger, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, okay. I'm going to go hang out with those Czechs. So, the CBR tour is pretty much just going to go like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, like that. We're just yeah. going to cruise through. Mm -hmm. All those countries. We and just Finland's got an itinerary. There. We're definitely going to Finland. Yeah, we'll end at yeah. Finland. Even though they're not on the list, we still love you. Well, <laughs> they're our number one listening. Right. Listeners of all time. I don't know. Words. So anyways, yes. Uh, I can't wait to gas up the jet and do the most uh, or the least economical trip ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ireland, <laughs> Slovakia. We must right. go in this order. <laughs> we have to go in that order. Yeah. So and then uh, we'll also hit up India, the UK and Finland because they're our top listeners. So, Sweet. yeah, I should make it clear to everybody listening, like the U.S. is our top listening country by a lot, <laughs> oh. but they don't okay. ever top the the podcast charts because, you know, yeah, within the amount of people, all that good stuff. Anyways, gotcha, I'll stop gotcha. talking. It's that only getting sense. worse from here. No, it's clear. Totally clear. <laughs> totally. Totally makes sense. Don't ask me further questions. I'm going to hit some water. Some water. Wow. <laughs> I should probably hit some water. <laughs> yeah, was it like a Freudian slip kind of thing? Yeah, I was reading water as I said I'm going to hit some music, and that was that was the problem here. <laughs> Time for some water. All right, everybody, find us at Craft Beer Republic and CraftBeerRepublic.com. You find Erica and all her salty goodness at 
neck underscore nosh underscore llc as well as necknosh.com and shannon's not much of a grammar except she stares at it all day just doesn't post anything mm-hmm, accurate mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh but you can follow marty the brew pup you can she Aww. is behind that one marty the brew pup all one word no underscores go follow him he's the cutest on all the gram almost as cute as me so i think that's everything oh 805 53 beer is number to call i do believe that's everything so in flex's place i'll say i hope everyone stays well hydrated and on that note good night everybody we